Hey guys, today's video is going to be about um, how to set up this chair that you see spinning. It comes in a box. I got it from Amazon. I'm going to take everything out of the box. So I'm going to leave the description um, uh, of the uh, item and the title uh, of this video. Uh, so if you like it, you can order it. Uh, I just wanted to show you what comes in the box um, as uh, I do with all my reviews. Uh, so this comes in three pieces. Uh, as I open the box, you will see what else is there. Uh, one of the seats, the back of the seat has all the other uh, stuff that I need for the setup. As with everything, this chair also comes with instructions. Please do read instructions. I made this video to show you um, and I would urge you to read instructions because I hate to see anything happen. Um, the rest of the parts comes behind this chair. Uh, they packed it very well. Uh, all the wheels and everything that uh, wheel framing requires is in there. Um, taking everything out. Um, so, uh, you know, when you do buy the chair, uh, if you decide to buy the chair, um, you know, you, you would be able to compare to see if all the parts came in with your uh, purchase. Um, it's going to be uh, about eight minutes. I'm going to show you the entire video of how to set this up. Uh, very important crucial step is right here uh, the wheels and the framing of the wheel I hope you are paying attention okay now we're ready to go I hope you don't find any of the content in this video offensive I put them in there to make it interesting so while you're watching you could also have some fun and smile uh, this particular step right here is very crucial because uh, you know it's gonna lift you up is the foundation of the chair or else, um, I had to tell you anything is possible. I don't want to see anybody go through this. This looks very dangerous, very harmful. So uh, this donut comes with it. Uh, it's plastic, it's not metal. The rest of the frame is metal uh, and it snaps right on. There's no screws, anything else is involved. Uh, what I want to do is I want to show you how easy it is to put the wheels on. Um, you know, I wish it had more legs so I could put more wheels on. It was very fun and interesting for me. All I had to do is apply some pressure and the wheel went right inside with no problem. So I thought the design was great, uh, to be honest with you. I love the design. I love the way they made it. Uh, it you know, those legs that you see, they are made out of metal uh, and the wheels are very strong and sturdy, uh, which I was happy with. So I went ahead, I bought three of these chairs. Uh, this is the third one that I'm setting up. I, I, you know, I, I figure I share this with you. So right now, only flimsy part is the plastic. So this is the gas cylinder that comes with. And what's interesting is it just sits right on top of this uh, wheel frame without a problem. So what you do is you go just like that, that as if you place the bottle, make sure it's tight and sturdy. Um, once you have that going, this particular thing, if you haven't watched my video and you watch this, then I would feel that you, you, you are going to benefit from something because please be careful right here. Make sure this leather and everything else is pushed down all the way down because uh, in the beginning, uh, you know, I struggled with, uh, you know, lining up the screws. You'll see what I mean as you go further on the step. So it's very, very important. If you haven't watched any other part of the video, please watch this part carefully and uh because this is going to make your time uh you know worth it and it's going to save you so much time and so much hassle uh of course it's very important to use the uh, right screws um the instruction will tell you the label and what number j or the l to use here uh so you just follow, you keep the instruction for that i just wanted to give you an overview of what to look out for and this particular thing was one of those things that um you know i realized is very important so i wanted to share that with you so uh, now that we have the screw on, we're just going to go ahead and, and, and put the uh, armrest. So what I did was I did that, I installed the armrest, and um, I'm doing the same thing to the other side. Remember, the, this leather covering up this metal uh, screw thread. So you want to push in, uh, push back the uh, leather as much as possible so it doesn't interfere with you screwing um, the armrest in place, you know, uh, because the armrest is sturdy, uh, so is the chair. If it's not lined up properly, you might accidentally strip the threads. And last thing you want to do is uh, strip the thread. You don't want to do that, you know, because you are going to use this for your use. You're going to sit down. You want the chair to be safe. You want the chair to be usable. You want the chair to last you longer, uh, you know, many years to come. Because, uh, you know, uh, I, I paid about $63 for it. And um, if you pay about similar, it's, that's money, you know, well spent for this chair.
So uh, that's why I bought three of them. And then, you know, on the second one, I did it. Third one, I figured I'd make a video for my viewers, you know, uh, to give you some tips if you are planning on buying it so you'll find it useful. So um, I'm going to speed through this process so, you know, you pretty much got an idea what's involved and what you have to do uh, while you do that. So we got the seat ready and this is the back wrist and same thing, um, you know, it has thread um, behind the leather casing. So you want to push back the leather as much as possible so you have easy access. Uh, so this is what I'm doing here. You know, I'm pushing it back. I'm purposely leaving this video on so that you remember to do that because I don't want you to go through what I went through. So once you have it going, you start off with the top screw. And once you get the top screw going, you do the second one and then you flip over the seat and then you do the same thing on the other side. Uh, you're going to feel some tension. As long as you have the screws lined up and it's all the way in, the screws are all the way in, you don't have any problem. You shouldn't have any problem. It's very simple. The screws that, uh, the hardware that comes with, it's very uh, sturdy. Um, you know, and uh, you have nothing to worry about. I think it's a uh, good buy. Uh, so right now, you know, I'm trying to make it tight as possible. You don't want to make it too tight, but uh, I don't think you could over tighten it. If you follow instructions and you do what the manufacturer recommends, you should be okay. And this is the, this is another crucial part is the, uh, backside, the bottom side of the chair. Uh, you know, I, I wanted to show you exactly what it looks like and what it took. I hope you are still with me. Um, I'll wait for you. Um, so now we are ready to put this chair in place. We have everything we did. And these are the caps that covers up those, uh, you know, uh, screw heads so that uh, it looks uh, your finishing touch. This is like a finishing touch. So your finished product looks great because the goal is to make it look great you know and you want to look at the chair later on and feel proud of proud of it so this is another crucial step you want to be very careful make sure everything lines up make sure the chair seat sits on the cylinder correctly there's no screw or anything on it it's the gravity that's going to hold it in place so once we wiggle it in it fits right in no problem we do a spin test and it's looking good the chair is looking good it's going up and it's going down as we expected. Lastly, you wanna make sure it's quality checked. What else with the chair, if it's not done properly, we don't want anybody getting hurt. Please subscribe, like this video, share it with your family and friends.